Heya, it's Sarah. And for today's video, we'll be talking about my skincare. Yes. Okay, so quick history about my skin. I never really had any bad skin condition. Just the typical adolescent acne. And just last year, I decided to consult with a professional about my skin for some reason. And I think it was because I was graduating from college. And my doctor at the time, it's from the Bella Medical Clinic, of course. It was Doc Angela. And she was the one who actually told me to stop using moisturizer. That's right, I haven't been using moisturizer for quite a while. Well, no, I've been using moisturizer. but. Back then, I actually stopped using moisturizer like completely cold turkey because of what Doc Angela told me. Um, and it's because in layman's term, um, my pores were getting clogged up by the moisturizer. I can't get um, into details about that one because to be honest with you, I'm not a professional. I just followed what she told me to do. So this has been my skincare ever since. So first up, I cleanse my face with the glycolic soap by percent. Um, and it's basically a soap. I just wash my face with it. I use my hands. Nothing fancy there. After the soap, I use the pore minimizer. It's right over here. I use the pore minimizer and the name speaks for itself. Itself. What? The name speaks for itself. It minimizes your pores. Then after that, it's the chat 2%. I don't use this quite often anymore. I only use it when I have a pimple or two, and that's because it helps dry up your pimples. So that's it. That's how I do my skincare routine. But remember how I said a while ago I have been using moisturizer. But the thing there, the compromise there, is I don't use it all over my face. I only use it in dry patches on my face. And for me in particular, my face gets dry around my nose area and around just above my chin. So for that, I use the Dr. Andrew Whale for Origins Mega Mushroom Skin Relief. And I like this moisturizer in particular because it helps with the redness of my skin. Speaking of moisturizer, I also use this every time I travel to a cold country because hello Philippine weather, it's kind of different and I use it to moisturize my face when, I don't know, just throughout the day. And you might find this a bit weird because it's actually not known as a skin care brand. It's from MAC Cosmetics. It's the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I just spray this all over my face every time I feel like my face is getting dry, especially back then when I would travel to Japan or right now when I'm in the States, I would spray this all over my face just to feel a bit refreshed. Now, of course, I can never forget the Bello Sun Expert SPF 40. I apply this after washing my face with the glycolic soap and the pore minimizer because those are the two I usually use the most. And of course, after the moisturizer. I love this because it actually honestly just feels like a lotion and it doesn't feel like sunblock on your face, if that makes sense. Um, and okay, here's the thing. Sometimes, every now and then, I have a friend or a family or a follower tell me that I seem to be glowing and it's always, always, always when I use the night before this face mask and it's from none other than the Glam Glow Hollywood California Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment Mask Sanction Exfoliate Jeunesse. Yes, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's this mask right here. I don't know. It's like, I just like it a lot. It kind of hurts when you put it on your face, but I guess that's what you call the iskata. So... Yeah, I love this face mask a lot. It's the one that I would keep buying, to be honest. And yeah, that's my skincare routine. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to please subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you won't miss another video from me ever again. Also, you can follow me on all my social media accounts. And I guess that's it. Bye, guys.